What's good, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Rugged Haitian Q theme music. What's good, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Rugged Haitian. What's poppin'? Yeah, we back at it again. Back at it again with the white vans. Nah, but um, but for real though, to today, um, honestly, the topic is something that all Haitian American know. Haitian Americans know. And honestly, all Haitians know, for real, for real, if you are second, third, if you are second generation, if you are second generation, man, you know this for a fact, you know this for a fact. And the fact, and the fact is Haitians do not do sleepovers. That's, (laughs) that's, that's the that's the topic for today. It is Haitians do not do sleepovers simply, simply because I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm I'm not. At first, I was not sure why why Haitians did not do sleepovers. I was not sure. You feel me? I was not sure. I I I literally had to uh get on my homework to to figure out to understand why Haitians don't do sleepovers cuz I remember you feel me <laughs> you feel me I remember growing up I remember growing up and I remember my friends asking me to um to ask my mom can I stay over their crib so I ain't never been asked to a sleepover before, you feel me? Because I was young. So I went and asked my mom. I was like, yo, mom. I ain't say it like that. But I was like, mom, can I like a She was like, she looked at me like I was stupid, man. Literally, she looked at me like I had had had, had a look on my face like, boy, are you serious? And I didn't understand at the time. I promise she almost hit me that day. You feel me? And, and and you already know what the answer was. The answer was a big fat no. All of my brothers and sisters, none of we've never stayed over somebody's house. Sleepovers? What's that? We don't <laughs> We don't know what sleepovers are in Haiti. You feel me? We, we, we don't, we don't associate. We, we don't know. It's, it's not in our vocabulary. It's just not a Haitian thing. And so upon getting on my research, I found out three reasons, three reasons why Haitians do not do sleepovers. Reason number one, we simply do not do sleepovers because we do not do sleepovers. Like, (laughs) <laughs> like it's it's almost like it's tradition you feel me it's almost like it's tradition where hey we've never done sleepovers we're never gonna do it and it was like all right so for most haitians it's just we haitians just don't do sleepovers it's just what we do not do we do not do sleepovers and for some that's that answer that answer is enough. That answer right there is enough. You don't need any, but why you don't need any, um, well, I need more understanding. No, that's the answer you're going to get. And that's that. I literally called my mom today and was like, why don't we do sleepovers? Why didn't you let me go and do sleepovers? She said, because we don't do sleep. <laughs> she said, cause we don't do sleepovers. That's why I didn't let you go. And stay over anybody's house. Because we don't do sleepovers. That's a legitimate answer. That is answer number one. Answer number two. On why we don't do sleepovers. We don't do sleepovers. 
simply because it's nighttime. It's during the night. Your friends, <laughs> it goes like this. Your friends are your friends during the day and at school. During the night, you have no friends. <laughs> you have no friends. What friends? Where? I don't see them. Because we all dark, you feel me? <laughs> nah. But like, that's, it's like, soon as night fall, you have no friends. You have no friends, you feel me? Because in Haiti, in Haiti, you don't get the current. You don't get the um, electricity throughout the night. You barely get it throughout the day. So if you're not getting any electricity to the house at night, what's the point of a sleepover for? If you're just going to go to sleep anyway. You feel, <laughs> you feel me? What you, what you need to sleep over for? What do you need it for? You're just going to go there and go to sleep? You could do that here. And I can know where you are. Excuse me. I can know where you are, man. Like, <laughs> that's the second reason. It's like, <clears throat> you don't get any electricity. You ain't going to get it here. You ain't going to get it there. Why you feel the need to go over your, your, your friend's house at night to stay over there? Your friendships are from sun up to sundown. Because as soon as the sun goes down, that friendship is over and it starts again the next day. That, <laughs> that is why Haitians, that is the second reason why Haitians don't do sleepovers. That's the second reason. So first reason, it's just tradition. We just don't. Second reason, it's nighttime. Your friends are your friends from sunup to sundown. When it is nighttime, the friendship is over and it starts over again the next day. You're not going to do anything special there. So you might as well stay a little behind home. That's the second reason why Haitians don't do sleepovers. Third reason why, <laughs> why I feel like somebody Haitians is going to get mad at me because I say because we dark. But we are though. But <laughs> third reason why Haitians don't do sleepovers. And this is real. This is real. All the other ones were real. But part three goes into like part two. You feel me? The third reason why Haitians do not do sleepovers is simply because they do not really know. They do not really know the child. They do not really know the parents. That's the third reason why Haitians don't do sleepovers because this is why. They don't know the child's parents. And it's a Haitian phrase that say, um, <laughs> it's basically like the freaks come out at night, but more like the monsters and demons and witches and all of that come out at night. It's <laughs> and so that's that's the legitimate third reason. Like it's because they don't know the child, your friend, they and they don't know the parents. Cause in Haiti, during the day, everybody is a saint. You feel me? But at night, that's when the rituals go down. That's when the uh summoning of demons go down. That's when people practice their magic. That's when people practice their voodoo. And so nobody wants to send their child to somebody else's house while other people putting spells on them. You feel me? So that's why Haitians don't do sleepovers because we don't know your family. We don't know what they going to try to do to you. They, they, ain't go, they don't want you bringing no loi in their house. You feel me? They don't want you switching the child out and bringing something else up in your house. That's one of the main reasons why Haitians don't do sleepover because they don't know if they're going to get the same child back. You feel me? They don't know if you're going to put a spell on their child. They don't even know if they're going to get the child back. You feel me? That's why Haitians do not do sleepovers. And that carried over to uh, the U.S. You feel me? 
So when Haitians in the U.S. and like people's like, hey, can you come in and uh, stay over tonight? We look at them like, are you crazy? I'm not about to send my child over there. I don't, I don't know you. We don't do that. We don't do that. And so Haitians have great lives. Haitian children have great lives never being at a sleepover. You feel me? Facts. Like we, we, <laughs> we good. We don't need no sleepover. And I thought I was missing out, but I grew up just fine. You feel me? I grew up just fine. I got friends to this day. And no, I have, man, I, I went on my first sleepover in high school and it wasn't even a sleepover. I accidentally fell asleep at my boy's house to the next day. And I had to explain to my parents what happened. And what's sad is he was my neighbor. Like, <laughs> He was my neighbor and I still got in trouble. That's, that's how crazy it is. Haitians not about to let their kids go over anybody's house because soon as night falls, that's when people start to get into their dirt. That's when people start to get into their joint, yo. And Haitians ain't dealing with it because you never know. All Haitians seem cool, but some of them, they in that bad stuff and others, they on some twisted stuff. You don't want to, you don't want your child exposed to that. You feel me? So those are the three reasons why Haitians do not do sleepovers. So I'm going to recap for you just in case you missed it. First reason, it's tradition. We just don't stay over people's houses. Don't take it personal. Well, you could take it personal. We don't care. But, <laughs> but, but that's what it is, man. We just don't care. So first one, it's tradition. We don't stay over people's houses because we never stayed over it people houses sleepovers second you could do what you're gonna do over there over here they ain't about to have no electricity you ain't about to have no electricity what y'all gonna do over there in the dark it's a no for me stay a little behind home two third reason we don't know what they doing over there they could seem fine during the day but everybody look good during the day it's when at nightfall when everybody get into their little rituals and stuff and we don't want you to be involved in it. And those are three reasons. Those are the three reasons why Haitians do not, I repeat, do not do sleepovers. And me, I'm first generation into this country, you feel me? I'm not going to let my kids... <laughs> I'm not going to let my kids do any sleepovers. Because you feel me like, because if you think about it, nowadays, what could go down, well, what we used to do, like running halfway across, not running, but starting on one side of town and ending up on the other side of town and coming back home, that was safe back in the day. Now, you can't trust a middle schooler to do that. I was doing that in middle school type stuff middle school, high school type stuff, running from one side of town to the other side of town and nothing happened to me. But nowadays you got kids getting snatched. You don't know who people really are. And so nowadays more and more Americans are, are a little more secure with their children. And so it's like, I need to vet these parents to make sure they ain't doing nothing crazy at their house. So y'all taking from our Haitians so y'all can have that for free. You feel me? Cause, cause we helping out y'all kids. It's about the kids. Vet, vet who your kids hang out with, man. That's the most important thing. Vet who your kids hang out with during the day and during the night. Vet them people so that you can see what your kids going, what your kids play date really like, man. What they family really like. And so, yeah. So when I have my kids, uh, when I have Junior, this cat, he ain't about to have no sleepover. He gonna have friends from sun up to sundown. After that, he ain't got no more friends. You feel me? The three L's in, in the Haitian language. La caille, l'église, l'école. You going to home, school, and church. Those the only three places you allowed to go. Over somebody's house is that part of it. You feel me? La caille, l'église, l'école. Those the only three. The three L's you got to live in a by by in my Haitian household. You feel me? So... Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the Rugged Haitian Podcast. Peace.